In the last week, I have canceled my subscriptions to OpenAI ChatGPT, Cursor, and Microsoft Copilot. Why? Because I have found a single tool that's become an absolute game changer for me. One that can replace all of these combined. The tool is Claude. Not just the chatbot. I'm talking about the complete stack. Claude code for implementation, Claude desktop for agent building, Opus 4 for reasoning, Claude artifacts for visualization, and Claude visions for multimodal understanding. Let me prove it. In part one, you saw this multi-agent health intelligence system in action. We started with a 200 plus page Apple Health document, 12 years of scattered health data. And first, our health extractor agent used Claude Opus 4 to transform this unstructured data into organized JSON files. Then, our health analyst agent ingested this data through our custom MCP Snowflake server. It loaded everything into Snowflake's enterprise data warehouse with structured tables and views. Now, when you asked health questions, it coordinated multiple tools, converting natural language to SQL via Cortex Analyst and generating rich visualizations. Well, today, we're building everything this health analyst agent needs to work. First, the custom MCP server with tools to ingest data into Snowflake and execute those health queries. Two, the DDL for the Snowflake health database. Three, the semantic model that enables Cortex analysts to understand natural language health questions. We're going from empty folders to production ready agent infrastructure in 15 minutes using Claude code. Let's get started. Here's where we're starting. I have our health analyst agent configured in Claude desktop with a name, description, and complete agent instructions. But look at the tools available. We have standard tools like Gmail and Calendar, and down here, a file system MCP server. But notice what's missing, no health specific tools. Let me ask the agent directly what it can do. Perfect, there's the proof. The agent knows it needs two specific tools, the Snowflake import and the execute health query, but they don't exist. This is where Claude code becomes our superpower. Here's our development setup in VS Code. On the right, we have the terminal where we'll be working with Claude code. But first, let me show you our project structure on the left. This is our multi-agent health insight system. Under Agents, you see our Extractor Agent, fully configured for Part 1. You can see the Config and Knowledge folders. In the Config, we have the Agent Instructions and Description. And in Knowledge, the Extraction JSON schemas in our Apple Health document. Now here's our Analyst Agent. It has Config with Agent Instructions. But notice what's missing. No Tools folder, no implementation. Let's open up the instructions real quick. It's comprehensive. It lists the tools the agent needs. It outlines the import workflow, example health queries, everything. But the tools themselves don't exist. And finally, here's our example directory with sample extraction files generated by the extractor agent. Now, let's use Claude code to build everything our agent needs. I'll start Claude code and give it context about what we're building. I needed to understand our health analyst agent requirements, importing JSON health data into Snowflake and enabling natural language queries. Now, if you're not familiar with Claude code, think of it like cursor, but it works directly in the terminal with the VS Code extension, which is what you see here. The key reason I switched from cursor is that I love that Claude code automatically understands your entire workspace. No more manually adding files to the context like other tools. This means when I give it requirements, it can make intelligent decisions based on our complete project. The agent instructions, the data modeling principles, sample files, everything. Perfect. See how Claude Code immediately understood our complete architecture. It identified the required components, two MCP tools, for importing data into Snowflake and executing natural language queries, the Snowflake database schema, and the semantic model YAML configuration to power Cortex Analyst 
natural language processing. Let's start with the database schema. I'll ask Claude Code to create the Snowflake DDL based on our sample JSON files using our database and schema naming conventions. See Claude Code working through its plan, analyzing all sample JSON files for schema design, reviewing our data modeling principles, creating the Snowflake DDL, and validating the DDL against the requirements checklist that we provided. Now let's zoom out and see what Claude Code created. In our project structure, there's a new data snore Snowflake DDL directory with our Health Intelligence DDL SQL. In that file, we see a clean, normalized schema with patients, a unified health records table, and an import batches table. Now let's execute this in Snowflake. Perfect. 21 SQL statements executed successfully. Now we have our complete database structure ready for the next step. Now we need the first MCP tool. I'll have Claude Code create the import tool with the test script. Look at Claude Code's systematic approach. One, review MCP tool requirements. Then it creates a tool structure in Py project. Then implement the import function. And finally, create the test script for import functionality. With Opus 4, the planning and reasoning has considerably improved. Now let's see what's created. In our tools health MCP directory, there's the health MCP Python file with our Snowflake import function. Now let's test it. Here's the test import file Claude Code generated to validate everything works. See how Claude Code provides detailed instructions for running the test. Wonderful. With UV Sync, we create the Python virtual environment, install all the dependencies, and then run the test with our sample data. Excellent. Import successful with 284 total records from our sample extraction JSON files that we have in our project. Let's verify in Snowflake with a quick count star. Up, oh, there's our 284 records. And with the select star, and we can see our health data properly structured in the warehouse. Looks great. Now for the semantic model, the piece that makes the natural language queries possible. I'll have Claude create it based on our table structure and example queries from the agent instructions. Look at Claude's plan for this task. Analyze Cortex requirements, design from our query patterns, create the YAML, and provide deployment instructions. Pretty cool. Claude has a complete understanding of the workflow. OK, so let's zoom out and see our project structure evolving. Claude Code created a new semantic model Snowflake folder with our semantic model YAML file in it. If you open that up, this defines the dimensions, the measures, and the relationships that enable health analytics. OK, we'll now test this in Snowflake. In Cortex Analyst, I'll create a semantic view by uploading our YAML file that Claude Code created to the raw data stage. Hmm, we get a validation error. Let me copy this validation error and ask Claude Code to fix it. Well, this really showcases the iterative nature of working with Claude Code. And because Claude has the entire project in context, it can troubleshoot and solve these errors very effectively. Perfect. This is exactly how real development works. Let's go back to Snowflake and test it out. It validates successfully. Now, let's test the semantic model with a couple of queries. First query, show me all abnormal lab results in the past year. Watch Cortex interpreting the query, generating the SQL, and returning the results. Let's do another query. What's my cholesterol trend over time? Awesome. Cortex Analyst is generating complex SQL from natural language, thanks to our semantic model. Now we need that second MCP tool, the one that caused the Cortex Analyst REST endpoint we just created. I'll have Claude Code add the natural language query function that integrates with Cortex Analyst. Now here's what's really impressive. Claude Code automatically configured a complex JWT authentication 
that Cortex Analyst requires. How? Well, it read the Cortex documentation we provided in the Semantic Model Requirements document. And from that link, it figured out the authentication automatically. That is super powerful, and what a time saver. Okay, clock code is done with the task. Let's take a look at the Health MCP server. We see our new Execute Health Query tool. We now have the complete MCP server, both import into Snowflake and query capabilities in one package. Let's execute the test script the Claude code provided and run the same queries we did in Snowflake Cortex Analyst UI, but this time VR tool, which calls the Cortex endpoint. First query, show me all the abnormal lab results, watch the SQL generation and the JSON response returned from the endpoint. Success. For the second query, what's my cholesterol trend over time? Perfect. Our query tool is calling Cortex Analyst, getting the SQL, executing it, and returning structured health insights in JSON structure. With both MCP tools now working, Claude Code identifies what's next, configuring Claude Desktop to use our new health MCP server. Claude provides the complete setup, configuration file, setup guide, and even a troubleshooting guide. Let's open up the setup guide. Here's our configuration, let's copy it. Now I'll update my Claude desktop config file with the configuration Claude code provided. We're adding our health analysis server with the correct paths and environment variables. Configuration complete. Time to test everything in Claude desktop. Now I'll restart Claude desktop to pick up our new MCP server tools. Let's go to the health analyst agent. Here is our previous message when we first started the demo. The agent said the tools weren't available. Now, let's open up tools and take a peek at what we see there. Awesome. We can see the new MCP health analysis server with our two tools we just implemented, Snowflake import and execute health query. Let's tell the analyst we added the tools. Okay. The analyst recognizes the tools and is now fully equipped to help us analyze our health data. The health analyst agent asks for the location of the extraction JSON files and then starts the upload process. Watch the agent working. It found it our extraction directory and is loading the 13 years of health data into Snowflake. After the import, the health analysis agent creates a React dashboard showing a complete health landscape, 2,400 records across 13 years. Now, this is the same rich visualization from part one, but now built on infrastructure we created from scratch. Now let's test the natural language capabilities with the same queries we executed in our tests. But now, with the agent pre-processing the user's request, and doing post-analytics and reasoning. Let's ask the first query about cholesterol trends. Watch the health analyst agent call our execute health query tool and then generate comprehensive analysis. The agent calls the execute health query tool, gets the data from Cortex Analyst, and creates this detailed cholesterol trend analysis with interactive visualizations showing total cholesterol, LDL, HDL, and triglycerides over time. Let's ask the second query about medication adherence patterns. Again, the health analyst agent calls our execute health query tool and generates a comprehensive answer. Watch the sophisticated analysis. The agent is correlating medication timeline with lab results, showing how cholesterol medications correlate with lab outcomes over time. This demonstrates the power we've built. Conversational analytics on 12 years of health data with enterprise-grade accuracy and beautiful visualizations.